Hi there, I am Sheldon. I am a system administrator at Forward Incorporated. CANFA provides us with useful insights into how application traffic impacts network performance. In CANFA, you can view the status of services like harvesters, reporters, and data storage appliances on the system status screen. If any of the services is not functioning properly, appropriate error messages are displayed. Sometimes, it is noticed that even though these services are functioning properly, error messages are still displayed on the system status screen. This could happen due to the following reasons. The SNMP service is not installed. The SNMP service is installed, but it is not running. There is mismatch between the community string, updated in the watchdog services, and the SNMP protocol settings. In the following demonstration, we will learn how to verify the root cause of this problem, and troubleshoot it. On the CANFA login page, enter the username and password, and then click Login. Click Administration. In this example, you see that the system status pane has reported errors for the status of services like the harvester and the reporter. The information section details the status of these services. One of the details provided in the information section reports that the SNMP service's current state is stopped. To verify this problem, let us take a look into the SNMP settings. At the command prompt, type services.msc. The services, local, window is displayed. In this example, we see that the status of the SNMP service is started. This indicates that the service is running. Let us investigate further. Right-click on the SNMP service, and select Properties. Click on the Security tab. Notice that the Accepted Community Names section is empty. This is the reason why we see errors reported on the system status screen. You need to have a community string in this section. The community string that you update here should match with the string updated in Watchdog settings. Let us check the community string updated in Watchdog settings. On the system status screen, click Watchdog settings. The community string updated here has the default value public. You can keep the default string or change it to a string of your choice. For the purpose of this demonstration, we have changed the community string to test at 123. You can also update the system check interval. For the purpose of this demonstration, we have changed the system check interval to 5 minutes. To continue, click the Save button. Now that we have updated the community string in Watchdog settings, we need to update the same string in SNMP settings. To update the community string, click the Add button. Type the community name as updated in the Watchdog settings. To continue, click the Add button. And then, click Apply. To continue, click the OK button. To ensure that the changes take effect, restart the SNMP service. You also need to restart the NetQOS, Reporter, and Analyzer Watchdog service. We have updated the community string in the SNMP services and the watchdog settings. This will resolve the errors that we noticed on the system status pane. All errors reported earlier have been resolved. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit www.ca.com education.